Hello friends, welcome again. Uh, I am Rajnikan Sadani, founder and CEO of Redon Grow. As we discussed previously, five parameters, or we can say, plant required five condition to complete its life cycle. Now, uh, today we will discuss another five parameters, uh, which is required to run hydroponic system. If you are growing plant in a hydroponic system, you will have to consider these five parameters to successfully grow your plant in a system. So one is uh, TDS, another one is pH, one more is oxygen, fourth is uh, temperature and fifth is a uh, nutrient. So these five parameters uh, we will have to maintain to run hydroponic system successfully. Today we will discuss about TDS or EC. So what is the TDS and what is the EC? TDS means total dissolved solids. Means in one liter water, if we take uh, generally pure water, TDS is always zero and EC is always zero. So first we will understand the TDS, then we will uh, go on EC. So if we take a one liter pure water and add one gram pure salt, one gram pure salt, so 1 gram equal to 1000 milligram, 1 gram is equal to 1000 milligram and 1 liter water, 1 liter water means 1 kg means 1000 uh, gram means 10 lakh milligram. So this 10 lakh milligram water contain 1000 milligram salt sodium chloride that means the solution ppm is uh, 1000 ppm means TDS is 1000 ppm that is the simple calculation TDS we are measuring in a ppm part per million so more ppm means more dissolved solid low ppm means low dissolved solids means if you are adding more nutrient in your water it will uh, increase that ppm increase the TDS and increase the EC and if you are adding more pure water, it will decrease the PPM, decrease the TDS and decrease the strength of nutrient solution. Generally, we are using RO water. Uh, it's a PPM must be less than 30 or we can say TDS must be less than 30 PPM. Uh, even uh, for hobby purpose, we can use rainwater. Generally, rainwater TDS is 20 to 30, 20 to 30 PPM. And even we can use AC condensate when we are uh, using AC and it's condensate that also we can use uh, for a hobby purpose and uh, rainwater. So any water having its TDS less than 30 ppm that we can use for hydroponic and it's good for hydroponic. Even sometimes for cocoa peat or media, uh, media based hydroponic people are using 100 to 200 ppm solution but we are not advising. Uh, hobby, pur hobby purpose that is okay but uh, commercial purpose always use uh, less than 30 ppm uh, RO water or pure water. So now uh, another parameters uh, is EC electric conductivity then what is the EC? EC means it's a specific conduction means uh, conduction means uh, when we are passing current uh, there are two if we take a two electrode metal electrode and we insert in a water and if we apply a particular current so current is passing through water uh, from one electrode to another electrode that is the conductivity and uh, of water and the, the, we can say it's electric conductivity or ec so ec measurement is generally uh, siemens per meter means siemens per meter and uh, generally we are using one siemens is equal to 10 deci siemens and one ec one deci siemens equal to 500 ppm TDS we are considering it's a thumb rule it's a not a fix because TDS is a dep depend upon a salt which kind of salt we are using uh, so 1 gram uh, sodium chloride display 1000 ppm but every salt will not display uh, same value means if we take uh, 1 gram potassium chloride so its TDS will be not same if we take one gram potassium nitrate so it will not show the same value so but for calibration purpose for our reference purpose we are using one uh, sodium chloride standard solution to check the TDS TDS and EC is just like uh, conversion 
so ultimately our instrument is uh, checking conductivity water conductivity and it's reflects in a ec value or in a tds value so say, sometimes uh, same meter display ec and ppm also so that is the simple uh, understanding between uh, tds and ec simple thumb rule one ec uh, or one ds uh, per meter ec equal to 500 ppm tds that we can consider so most of the time people are asking how tds is affecting our plant growth and uh, how much tds we should maintain generally different different plant require different different tds or ec and even in a season uh, in a temperature sunlight period all things are effect on a tds and ec value but uh, in hobby purpose we we can maintain or uh, approximate 800 to 1000 ppm or we can say uh, 2 ec for hobby purpose a multiple mix plant 1.8 to 2 ec we, we can maintain and if uh, we calculate in tds so we can maintain 800 to 1000 ppm uh, if you are using a nutrient solution and you are uh, you have a 800 ppm tds and or 1.8 ec if you want to increase the EC or increase the TDS, you will have to add more nutrient in your reservoir or in a water. If you want to decrease EC or TDS, you will have to add more water, pure water. Then it will decrease the TDS or EC of your nutrient solution. Many times people thinking if we add more nutrient and our plant will grow fast, but that is not true because sometimes what happen when you are adding more uh, nutrient and increase the TDS uh, and up beyond the limit, if you are increase the TDS beyond the limit, uh, it will create a nutrient toxicity for plant. So don't add more nutrient if you don't know. Uh, for hobby purpose, we can say 8, uh, 800 to 1000 ppm TDS is sufficient for all plant. But commercial purpose, crop to crop, uh, we will have to maintain different different TDS or EC. That uh, we will provide in a, a next episode. So in next episode, we will provide some values, uh, crop wise values, where how much TDS is required and how much ppm is required for uh, uh, different different kind of variety different different kind of plants so many people asking uh, which is better to use ec or tds so that is a depend upon uh, your nutrient provider or your formulation if uh, check your nutrient supplier instruction if they are uh, they are uh, instructing to check ec then check ec if they are instructing to check tds then check tds so that is depend upon your nutrient supplier uh, to check tds this uh, this kind of small ec meter or tds meter available in market that you can use to check your tds or ec so i hope you understand what is the ec and what is the ppm so simply we can say more ec means more food available for plant uh, if nutrient is a plant food then more ec means more food available for plant low ec means low food available for plant in a nutrient so increase the tds add more nutrient to decrease the tds uh, add more pure water or dilute your dilute your uh, nutrient solution in next episode we will discuss about ph thanks again rajinikan sadani from red on grow